Hey guys, welcome back for more Tales of Grace. Ah, last time we entered the adult arc, and yeah, I know not to go that way as well. I'm just standing here so I can get hit the select button and watch the little point. I can't mess this up. I must prove my worth to Captain Malik. Problem? Not at all, sir. I'm ready to proceed. Asbel, I'd like you to take the lead until we reach Orlin. The lead, sir? I need to see what you're capable of. If monsters come, I will provide support only. Remember that fleeing is always an option if things go badly. Understood, sir. But rest assured, I will not flee. Don't be foolish. A knight must always know when he's overmatched. I will not think any less of you for it. Regardless, I won't flee. <laughs> uh, forgive me, sir. I'll make preparations to move out. All right. Hey, you won't flee. Uh, I never mentioned it because I've never actually used it in this game. But, um, you know, there's a border around the, to run away from a battle in this game. Uh, there is a ring around the arena. And basically, you just have to run into it a bunch. Um, so with the titles, as you can see, there are a lot. And I'm telling you, there's a lot more than these silhouettes are. There's actually quite a few down further. Uh, we'll get into most of them later. Well, like a good chunk of them. I'm not sure if we'll get most of them. Just see what. Well, we'll just see what happens. Um, but yeah, Asbel has a lot more than 25 titles. Like it, he just needs to unlock one further down the page to get the rest of the silhouettes to show up. That's just whatever. It's kind of it's kind of a strange mechanic. They should, probably should have just left them all like. All silhouettes anyways, but whatever. Uh, what am I doing here? Um, well, uh, Shockwave Slash. Wolf, uh, Wolf and Fang. Uh, he learns at level 5 there. I'll just let him learn at level 3 here. Um, cool. Uh, I already changed him, didn't I? Yeah, I changed him to Cold Front so he could go pick up the next one. Right, new recording session. I already broke that three only rule with four episodes recorded last session <laughs> uh, okay so uh, when we're in here now uh, there is another weakness stat as you can see uh, the axe beak here and the wolf are both weak to B arts meaning if we use burst arts on them they'll take a little bit more damage than if we were using assault arts so in this battle since the other one was sort of neutral I would just be using the uh, burst arts anyways so uh, whatever I, I talked over that one it'll probably come up again eventually in the future um, yep. Okay, let's get going. Yeah. Uh, ooh, treasure chest. Dive, Fiflifla. Filifolia. 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 Um, die, plants. That's Shockwave Slash, by the way. We won't fail. Oh, maintaining balance. If you spend too much time guarding and not enough time attacking, the enemy will eventually break your guard once you achieve Red Aura status. Go on the offensive! Uh, what was the first one that showed up? <laughs> I don't know. There was one other message before that one. I can't remember what it was. Uh, was it Burst Arts like 2 or something? I'll go quickly look. If it's in here. Uh... God, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, advanced B arts, as well as arts are quick. Uh, uh, when to sheath titles, new title tips, seeking new titles. I can't remember what it was. Whatever. Let's keep going. You guys can pause the screen when it showed up last time if you really care that much. Uh, uh, all week to B arts. Uh, in this area, since we just entered and uh, we just got the B arts, I'm guessing pretty much all of them will be weak to B arts in some form. I better set the uh, right analog stick controls. I said I was wasn't going to, but um, I better do it. Uh, Elith burst. Once the blue portion of the Elith gauge fills, Elith is released, and the battlefield turns and enters the Elith burst state, which fills your CC and keeps it there, allowing you to attack with impunity. Some skills grant additional effects during the state. Be sure to use them to gain the upper hand. Um, so basically. Basically, um, what happens is on the left side of the screen, uh, during battle, there's a sort of a, a red and a blue bar. Well, the red one, go red bar goes downward, blue bar goes uh, uh, upward. And uh, when one of those bars reaches the end of it, uh, like reaches the like reaches the limit, uh, you go into what's known as the uh, Elith burst. And during Elith burst, you get infinite CC. 
Uh, it is very difficult to stagger yourself. Uh, I think. I can't remember. I know enemies are harder to stagger when they're in Elf Burst. So as you can see, I've got the blue bar. It's about uh, a third of the way up there, or two-fifths or so. So it'll slowly go up. Uh, ooh, cold front. I think I was going to switch him back, wasn't I? Uh, if you want to get, uh, give a boost to your portion of the Elith gauge, try attacking enemies from behind on the field. Doing so will provide you uh, with extra Elith when the fight begins. However, the same applies to enemies. Stay on your guard when traveling. Uh, yeah, there is no preemptive attack or sneak attack advantage in this game. Basically, if you uh, get if you sneak into the back of an enemy, you gain a little bit more Elith uh, in your Elith gauge at the start of a fight. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, was I going to learn something here, or was I going to go back and learn something here? I was going to go back and learn something there, so we'll go back and learn, learn Rock Lance now that he has the cold front. Hi, Wood Chunk! How much wood would a Wood Chunk chuck if a Wood Chunk ch could chuck Wood Chunks? I don't know. I should be using more Burst Stars because they're fun. Uh, I, 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 while I was talking there, I set it up to my right analog stick, just because I actually, I've actually gotten more used to using the right analog stick because it's one less button to push. Uh, ooh, he's already gained that stuff. Ooh, level up. I think Malik is actually a, a higher level than Aswell, which would make sense. Dualizing shards. Sometimes enemies will drop items known as shards. If you dualize these shards with weapons and armor, or armor, you can add effects such as added defense or HP restoration to your gear. If you come in possession of such shards, uh, make sure uh, make to the for the nearest shop post haste. Uh, there is an interesting mechanic involved with your dualizing. You can dual uh, as I was mentioning. You can actually dualize your weapons in this game, and doing so. Um, it's actually recommended, in my opinion, because if you do it, you uh, gain a higher level weapon. Like, it, it not only gives you the stat of the shard, but it'll also increase the base stat of your weapon. And, uh, yeah, it, it, you doing this, you can actually gain enough points between towns that you can skip entire levels of weapons. Like, you could skip an entire town's weapons, because all of your stuff will be better. Uh, let's see if I can do something here. Uh, Longsword! Uh, we got two attack shards, so uh, might as well throw them in. Dual eyes! As you can see, it costs a little bit of gall, uh, a little bit of gall, the 68 on the side there. Uh, so it's not, it's not that bad. Also, doing this increases the price of your uh, the, the weapons you sell immensely, like, a lot. So as you can see, uh, although this was an attack shard, it actually increased the Creus attack and the accuracy as well, and the physical attack. So, um, yeah, it's really nice that in that regard. Uh, when you first dualize a weapon, it will be enter- it will- Basic, it'll be usable, like it's completely usable, but you're not able to dualize this weapon again until it's tempered. You temper a weapon just by using it in fights. So after a couple of fights here, uh, the weapon will be tempered and uh, we'll be able to dualize and actually remove the gem. Oh funny. my We're god, my wow, I just kicked their asses. Ooh, I got a mind shard. That's a Krius attack one, so that'd be good for Malik. Um, hello, treasure chest. Iron Tunic! Um... Uh, yeah, and when you dualize the weapon once it's been tempered, it keeps the status. As you can see, it's a longsword plus one now. So it keeps those basic stats, which you saw down below. Um, Iron Tunic. Uh, who has the worst Creus defense here? Oh, Asbel by far. I'm going to give it to Asbel. Two less defense for a lot more Creus defense. I'll take it. Uh, oh, right. I got the uh, extra accessories for him now. Uh, the bronze scabbard. He has a scabbard. Uh, Malak has cologne. Um... Yeah, so just keep going. <laughs> the, 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 every Tales game has weird ones. I think, I think, uh, 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 oh, what's this? Oh, the, the flower thingy, Moreno flowers. Yay, blues, uh, flower power. Hold on. Yes, sir? These are Moreno flowers. Combine them with water of absolution, and you have the raw ingredients for a holy bottle. Wait here a minute. I've studied for seven years, and I still didn't know that. Am I really ready to become a knight? What's on your mind? Nothing, sir. It's just you're so knowledgeable about everything, and it makes me doubt myself. Knowledge for its own sake is meaningless. But this is information that can help you to protect yourself and others when you become a knight. Remember it. Sir. Yay, stuff. Um, I've been saying a lot of random information in this episode. This game's, the game, uh, like most RPGs, this game's mechanics are really confusing at first, but after a little while, you start getting used to it. The dualizing thing, 
Uh, that's pretty easy to grasp. You're just fusing the weapon, making it stronger. And eventually, it's just good. Chipped claw! Uh, what's down here? I think there's a rock I can push over down here. Oh, God! Surprise, wolf! Aww. Oh, I lost my stat thingy. I was actually going pretty good with the quick with the uh, quick endings of battles. Uh, game shard. I think that's health. I think that's a vit no, no, that's a vitality. What am I thinking? Gain. I don't know. Uh, uh yeah. Let's push rock over. Go over here. What's this? Apple gels times three. Uh, put it back. We'll do the classic. Are they all full? Asbel can use one. How many do I have? Two. Is it worth it to go sell two then come back? Yeah, I'm not even gonna do it. Um, the one thing I found in my first playthrough of this game was I was always out of money. I was always out of money in this game. I never had enough until the very last dungeon. When I got out of the very last dungeon, I finally had a surplus of money. Seriously, uh, that's how long it took me because I didn't do any grinding or anything like that, so. If I, I'm, I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to have a little bit more money this time around because I am kind of know how to spend it better now. Like, I know if I dualize my first weapons a lot, I'll eventually won't need to dualize any others. I can skip a couple towns, weapons, and whatnot. So, uh, we'll keep going here and find out what we can do here. Captain Malik. It's an honor to have you here, sir. What have you learned? Early reports on the missing villagers appear to be true. We found no trace of them. It looks like there was a fire. So it does. A bad one from the state of things. Any connection between the fire and the missing villagers? We're looking into that right now. If you could lend a hand, it would be much appreciated. You heard them, Asbel. Yes, sir. Is this the cadet we've been hearing about, Captain Malik? This is Asbel Lant. Today is his first field mission. It's an honor to meet you. All right, let's get started. First, we'll split up and take a look around the village. If you find anything, let me know ASAP. Yes, sir. Split up and look for clues. Where's Scooby? Wait, I've already made a Scooby Doo joke. Uh, who could have done this? It's me on normal monster. Good luck out there. Show us what you're made of. Uh, I am made of flesh and bone, just like you are, sir. I am nothing more than a man. What is a man? Uh, let's walk around a little bit. Where'd Mal oh, there's Malik. I was going to go talk to him before moving on. I kind of know where to go, so I think. Keep searching. Investigate the area. What's that? Hmm. I shouldn't call the captain until I know where that noise is coming from. Now, where did it go? Hmm. It appears not to be here. So let's go back to where I was before! Was that a dog? Or maybe a wolf? That was one kick-ass looking dog. How did you not see that? How did you- okay, how did you not see that? How could you not see that right now? You're facing that way. He is kind of... Okay, the, the building is a little in his way. He, uh, from the looks of things, he could probably still see it. But... You blind-ass people! Damn! What the hell is this? We will survive. Nova Wolf! Oh, and God, Nova Stall... He fires lasers. Uh, so this guy is a little bit tough. Why can't I hurt it? I'm not about to lose here. Huh? It worked. All right. How to set arts. Yeah, arts. Okay, it's telling me how to do this, but I've already done it several times. 
I'm changing my up and down one to lightning strike. Uh, Demon Fang is going to be normal. Uh, on here, up is going to be lightning strike down. I'll keep being Demon Fang left and right. Shockwave slash. Uh, okay, so this ne the, we just learned the lightning strike. And lightning strike has the Nova element. Uh, in this game, Nova is an element of all its own. It is sort of lightning. It looks like purple lightning, really. But um, basically, enemies can be shielded with Nova. Oh, God. Lightning Strike's Nova ability attribute can smash the enemy's Nova barrier. It's weak to Nova as well, so use the attack. Use it to attack. Oh god, no you don't. Lightning! Lightning! Ow! Jerk. No you don't. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that big huge red barrier he had at the start of the fight, uh, that was a Nova barrier, and the lightning strike we did during the cutscene broke it. This guy's actually a fairly... Oh, cooked the rice ball. Cool. I'm not sure if that cooked in it. I think that cooked in a previous fight when we were in the forest, so... Nothing really new there. He was stunned, so I'll take advantage. Oh, look at me go! Jeez, look at me go with the seven oh, plus seven. Pulled I pulled it off by kicking his ass. Oh, Asbel's weapon's been tempered. Learning arts via skills. Some arts can be learned via, from skills. Uh, multiple skills may offer the same art, and it doesn't matter which you choose. However, if you learn the same art from more than one skill, its effects will stack, meaning it will... it. Uh, making it more powerful. You may uh, also be able to learn new titles from using the same arts repeatedly. Ah, uh, yeah, every, every, almost pretty much every skill has like a title attached to it. Like, ev yeah. So every art has like a, a title attached to it to boost its power further. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, you just have to use them repeatedly, like a hundred times you learn the skill or something like that. I can't remember. Some random number. Uh, what else is it? Okay, multiple skills may offer the same art. Uh, skills are the sections in title. So uh, in this case, the titles each have five skills. So every title, uh, multiple titles could have the same set of skills, but uh, each one has a buff. If you like, first want to learn it and then there's buffs and all the others. I think they go in, I don't know, whatever, they go in order kind of damage or accuracy or those types of things increases. Uh, anyways, let's get going. I finally beat him. But what was that light from my hand? What is this thing? Did you slay this beast? Yes, sir. It attacked without warning, so I defended myself. Captain, do you think this creature is responsible for the missing villagers? It's certainly possible. I found evidence of wild animal attacks while I was exploring the village. This thing could have been part of a larger group, but we'll need more info to be sure. You have our gratitude, Captain. I think we can take it the rest of the way. Understood. Asbel, we're done here. Thank you for your assistance, Asbel Lant. Of course, sir. I'm glad I was able to help. Indeed. Your efforts may have unlocked the core of this little mystery. Captain Malik has chosen well. I look forward to having you in our ranks. Now, now, this boy is no knight. Not yet, anyway. Huh. Forgive me, sir. You're a lucky man to be trained by the captain himself. Do not waste the opportunity. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the advice. This ends your first field mission. Let's be on our way back to the capital. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Cool. So that's sort of the end of. I can't even remember if we. I can't remember if I actually ever found out what happened to this village. I'll be honest with you. Hidden talents. All right. 
We'll head back the way we came. You take the lead. Uh, yes, sir. Asbel, I was glad for an opportunity to see your true prowess. But I must admit, I was surprised at what I witnessed. Uh, surprised, sir? That monster was ready to destroy you. But then you suddenly... Well, I'm... I'm not sure what you did. Why have you kept this ability hidden? It's nothing I've tried to hide, Captain. In truth, I'm not sure how I beat the thing. You could be ready for real action now. I might even have to challenge you to spar one of these days. Did the captain just praise me? Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go head back to Barona and do stuff. And lots of stuff. Fun stuff. Maybe? Stuff! See you guys then.